everyone, it's Miss Rachel, and I am so excited to start our math lesson for the day. So, do you guys remember what we've been talking about in math? Yeah, attributes. And attributes are ways we can describe people, objects, and places. So, yesterday we played that matching game where we had to search for it and then find it and connect it. And we had to describe what it was, whether that be the purple acorn or the red astronaut. So another way we can use attributes is comparing. So comparing means we're seeing which one's different and which one's alike. So take for example, Chloe is smaller than me. So if I asked which one of us is smaller, you would say Chloe is smaller than Miss Rachel. So we just made a comparison. So today we are going to practice comparing objects. So that is what we're going to be doing. We're using our attribute knowledge to compare objects. So as you can see on the screen, we have several different animals and groups. So what I want to do is we're going to say which one's smallest and which one's the largest. So we're using our attributes. So we're saying this one's smaller than this one. So let's look at this top example. So which one, I get my, so which one is the smaller one? Go ahead and point to it. Good, so this one is smaller than this one. So this one's smaller than this one. Good job. Okay, let's look at, what animal is that? Yeah, it's a cat. So let's look at the cats. So go ahead and point out which one is the smallest one. Which of the blue cats is the smallest? Correct. If you point out this one, you are right. This one is smaller than this cat. Good job. Let's see, where to do next? Let's go ahead and do, we'll do, what are these? Yeah, they're dogs. So we have some brown dogs. So point out which one is the smallest. Good job. Yeah, so this one's smallest and then this one is Larger. Good job. And notice how I'm numbering them one and two. So one is our small one, two is our larger one. And that's going to come and play on our next example where we're going to put them in order. So we're going to use one, two, and three. So these are what? Yes, yeah, so these are dolphins. And notice there's three of them. So we're going to put them in order from smallest to largest or biggest. Okay, so point at the smallest dolphin that you see. Good, so I'm going to label this little one number one because he's the smallest. So which one is the next biggest? Good, so this one, number two. It's going to be the medium size, so the next biggest, or medium. And which one's the largest dolphin we got? Good. So this one is the biggest dolphin that we have. Good job. All right. So now we're moving down to what are these? Right. These are giraffes. Oh, good job. So which one is the smallest giraffe? Point it out for me. Good, so this one is the smallest one. And which one is the next giraffe? Which one's the medium sized giraffe? Exactly, this one. And which one's the biggest giraffe we have on the page? Yes, got this one. He's a big, tall giraffe. All right, so we're going down. 
So we have a little bit of different examples because these are not animals. So these are just lines. So again, we're gonna put them from smallest to biggest or largest. So which one is the smallest? Good, this one's the smallest. All right, which one's the medium or the next one? Good, this one is the medium one. And which is the biggest line that we have on the page? Yeah, this one right here. You guys are doing great, good job. All right, so we're on our last example, and there's smiley faces because we're smiling because we're doing such a good job. So which one is our smallest smiley face on the page? Good, good job. This one. And which one is our next in line? Our medium size. Good job. And which one is the biggest smiley face we have on the page? Good, this one. Good job, guys. So as you can see, we are describing with our attributes. So we could have said, this is a blue cat. This is a brown dog. Those are describing them. And we learned we can compare using our attributes. We said, this cat is smaller than this cat. This dolphin is smaller than these dolphins. This dog is bigger than this dog. So I want you guys to go find something in your house and say, I am taller than this. I am bigger than this. I am smaller than this because you are probably a little shorter than your parents. So you can just go and find something to compare and have fun. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. We are gonna have a awesome book on learning gene that goes along with our lesson that compares you to big animals and small animals too. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.